We're now in our Open VBX installation again, and I want to cover um, some of the important aspects of uh, what are called flows, and then we'll cover uh, as well how to grab phone numbers and that type of thing. So these go hand in hand. A flow isn't any good unless you have a number, and a number isn't any good unless you have a flow. Now a flow is when a call or a text message comes in to your phone number that you're going to get, uh, the flow is what happens. You know, this happens, then this happens next, and you you know send a text message back, and or you forward a phone call here or whatever. That's the flow of the phone call or the SMS text message process. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and look at the numbers real quick, though. Uh, under numbers, this is what these are all the numbers, the phone numbers that um, you have available. Uh, the first time you look at this, you're not going to have anything here. You'll have the sandbox one, um, but you can't really do anything until you uh, have an actual phone number used here. We have some, I have some various local numbers here, and uh, in order to grab a number, what you want to do is I need to go over here to the right some, and uh, you want to click on get a number. <clears throat> And uh, what you do is you just type in the area code that you want. So if I type in my area code here, I can go ahead and click Add Number, and it's going to grab a number and add it, uh, a 719 number, and it's going to add it to my OpenVBX uh, system here. Uh, I'll skip that for now, but uh, and it'll usually what happens is when you when you click Add Number, it will immediately take you into the process of setting up a flow. Now I recommend just cancel out of that process after you've gotten the number and let's get back to this screen where we were. You don't have to set up the flow immediately. So let's assume that you have some phone numbers here and um, uh, and, the, uh, and then we'll also set up a flow but once you have a flow set up you'll be able to connect your phone number to a flow. So um, let's go ahead and go into the flows area. Now we don't have any yet. The reason why I had phone numbers in mind is because I used the Twilio account information, the SID and the token from an existing account I've been using for a while. So I have some phone numbers in there already. Um, but in your case you wouldn't have anything yet, or most likely wouldn't. But uh, so we're going to create our first flow, and we're going to build our flow, and it's going to be designed for text messages. So if we click on New Flow, we can give it a name, and um, depending on the situation, you you might want to name it differently. It, the name really doesn't matter; it's only for your recognition of you know in the list of flows that you have as a way to distinguish one from the other. So I recommend giving it a descriptive name that will allow you to determine what it does by looking at the name versus um, something more generic. But uh, it depends on uh, what you're trying to accomplish. Let's pretend that we're, we're building a flow for a, a client and um, uh, we want it to be uh, you know, let's say it's a pizza shop, and uh, we want people to join their their text message list. So we could just call it, uh, for example, pizza, and uh, we're going to mainly this is going to be an SMS for SMS purposes. So I'll just give it that name to start with, and then uh, now this is. Um, what we're in right now is we're in the voice flow. So this can be a little bit confusing if you're not expecting it because we just typed in a name and it took us directly, it's assuming we want to set up a call flow, which you can do, uh, but for the purposes of this video we're going to uh, not spend a lot of time here, but I can show you some basic things of what to do. if. Um, you know, maybe maybe you don't want anything to happen. Maybe you just want a basic greeting. This this line is mainly for SMS purposes, but 
you could actually um, subscribe people to your SMS text message list based on uh, them entering a um, phone number or calling a phone number. So uh, what we could do here is play a greeting, for example. And so I'm just going to try to go through this real quick. Uh, so I'm dragging uh, a greeting uh, icon over. Let me go over here so you can see it. So if you look to the right here, what it is, I, I drug. You have this this different these different options. So I drag a greeting over here onto this little drop zone area that was on this call start. So I drag the greeting uh, applet onto the box here, and then when you click on it, you you get to set up the settings for your greeting, and you can uh, read text, kind of like computer generated or you could actually upload an mp3 file of the greeting you want to use or you can record it via the phone or if you already have some added you can choose from a library I'm just gonna <clears throat> add uh, some computer generated greeting here and it could be something simple thank you for subscribing to our text message updates and save that so we're in the process of a flow here, right? So we are playing the greeting. We the greeting. This is the greeting we just saved. Now what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to <clears throat> send a text message list potentially. So uh, let's take a look at that process. Now part of the problem we're going to run into now is that I might I can send a text message for example let's go ahead and do that real quick so I drug the te SMS applet onto the box and it sends me right into uh, the, the settings for the text message so I could send a text message thank you for subscribing to our text message updates Show this message for 10% off your next order. Okay, so it's going to send that text message. But, one more step. We actually want to subscribe them to our text message list. So what we need to do is go over and grab the subscription Remember we, we installed the subscription uh, plugin, and that's what this is. So I'm going to drag this over, drop it onto that drop zone there. And this is what I was talking about. You need to create a subscription list first. Okay, so let's just save it right here. And I'm going to click Save. Make sure you always save your changes, assuming that's what you want to do. I can now close this. <clears throat> and you can see that we now have a flow that we created pizza SMS okay and we have we can edit the call flow and it says edit because we just created a call flow so if someone dials into this flow now keep in mind I haven't attached a phone number to this flow yet but if I do and someone calls that number they're going to be taken through this flow, the call flow. Well, the other side of this is the SMS flow. If someone sends a text message to the number, what's going to happen? So um, let's go into, uh, we're really interested in our text messaging list right now, so we actually need to set a list up because I want to set up a list, or I want to set up this flow, and add someone to a list, but I didn't have any lists, so I gotta go into this section, manage lists. And here, here's our list area, and on, far, on the far right here, there is a um, link to add a list, so I'll go ahead and click that, get a drop down, and then give it a list name. Again, you might wanna be descriptive on this on this list, so you can tell what it is and uh, pizza shop <clears throat> so in a lot of cases you're going to have an open VBX installation specifically for each client 
that allows that gives you the ability to allow your clients to log in um, and uh, you know keep things separated and it gives a lot more value I think to your clients so so chances are in any particular open VBX installation you're going to have only one client and so in this case we're using our pizza shop as an example so I'm going to save this list um, I'm just going to say customers pizza shop customers save that <clears throat> Okay, we have our first list here created, and you can see it gives us the name, how many subscribers we have, and then we can send an SMS, and then um, or delete it if we want. Okay, so now let's go back into, so now that we have a list, let's go back into our flows. And since I've already started the call flow, let's finish that up. Let's edit the call flow. Uh, it's kind of a nice feature of OpenVBX and Twilio is that, you know, not everyone, most people, but not everyone likes to send text messages. So for some people, it's going to be easier to dial a phone number than it is to send a text message. So this is a selling point for clients. You can say that, um, you know, it's easier to get on our list because anyone that has a cell phone that can dial it, uh, which is everyone, I would hope, uh, can get on your list, not just people who know how to send a text message. But, of course, people that can send a text message, it's good for them as well. Okay, so here's our call flow that we started. Okay, so it shows here. It's going to play our greeting. If you click on this, you'll see the settings show up for the greeting. And so it says, thank you for subscribing to our text message updates. And then it's going to send a text message. Here are the settings for that. It will send this message. And then we want them on our list, right? So if we just sent the text message and that was it, well, that might be good if we send them a coupon. But we want to build our list. So we need to use this subscription. That's the next step in this process. And see before it said we needed to add a list now that we have a list it defaults to the one list that we have and it's going to assume that we want to add them to our list <clears throat> and then um, and that's really about it I mean then we can just hang up and you don't actually have to drag this over but I did drag the hang up uh, applet over and uh, let's see click back on here so it's going to, um, this is again, this is a call flow. Someone called the number, they hear a greeting, it sends them a text message, and it hangs up. And you can get more elaborate here as you learn the different ways to use these things, but uh, that's a simple way to add someone to a list via a phone call. So I'm going to click on Save over here on the upper right-hand corner. It says my flow has been saved. I'm going to close out of here. And now let's set up our SMS. So we need to create our SMS flow. So here we go. All right, so we start with a blank uh, initial applet here. And uh, so it asks the question, when an SMS is received, what should we do? Drag an applet from the right to get started. So if I go over here and look at these applets, you can see the subscription one is familiar, right? We use that one in the call flow. It does essentially the same thing, but this time we're using SMS. Uh, the, S the send a reply, since we're in the SMS flow, it, uh, this applet is send a reply, so we're assuming that's an SMS reply. And then the other... Um, plugin we actually installed was the match plugin we downloaded that and uploaded it to our system the match plugin allows you to do some things um, that the menu system that's built into open vbx doesn't allow you to do the match is more sophisticated so what i'm going to do is drag the match applet over here onto this uh, box and set this up. So uh, 
here you have many options. So you could tell someone, you know, for example, again, we're working with a pizza shop. You could say, uh, text the word pizza to our phone number, whatever that is, and get a 10% off coupon for your next visit or whatever it is you want to say. <clears throat> so what you type in here is the word whatever keyword you're using. So we could say pizza. And then we need to do, we need to drop in the app. But what do we want to do if someone texts us the word pizza? Well, usually the first thing you want to do is add that person to a list. Now, it doesn't really matter the order. Um, we could immediately reply, whatever makes more logical sense to you, we could immediately reply, send a reply here and uh, say thank you for subscribing, uh, show this message for 10% off your next visit. Okay, so we that's our next step. They text the word pizza, and we're going to send a reply, but never forget you want to add them to a list. So subscription should be one of the next steps, or the next step. And since we only have one list, you can have more than one list, but we're going to add them to the pizza shop customers list. Um, and we're going to, the action is we want to add them to the list. And that's it. We don't have to do anything else. You can leave this blank down here. So if I go back to the uh, match, this is where we branch off here. <clears throat> so they could text the word pizza, or maybe you want them to text a different word, uh, maybe a more of a secret word, maybe um, whatever. It doesn't matter. Special. And... Um, Maybe, let's say, for example, maybe you have a restaurant that serves breakfast. And you want to separate your breakfast crowd from everyone else. So text the word breakfast to the number you've attached to this flow. And we want to send a reply again. And we want to say, we um, show this message for... 20% uh, off your next breakfast visit. Or maybe you want your breakfast customers to come in for lunch. You could say show this uh, offer or show this text message for 20% off your lunch order. <clears throat> whatever whatever uh, restrictions you place on the, the offer is up to you or to the, the client, the restaurant owner or the the business owner. Um, but uh, there's many ways you can use this. So we send the reply, and again, we want to subscribe them. Now, if we had a breakfast list, it would show up here, um, but let's uh, just stick with this pizza shop customers for now. So now we've sent them a text message, reply, and now they're on our list. <clears throat> there's a couple more things you might want to do. You definitely want to do. Uh, you need to have a way for people to get off of your list. So I'm sorry for all the jumping around here. If you click the plus button here, it'll add another little field where you can add uh, another keyword, which might be something like stop is typical. Um, and then if they reply with stop, you can, optionally you could send them a message, thanks for, you know, whatever, you've now been unsubscribed, just to confirm, but I'm going to skip that. I'm going to drop in the subscription action uh, applet, and it is going to remove them from the pizza shop customers list. Okay, so they've been removed, and you can choose to send a reply if you like. You have been unsubscribed. Okay, so um, so what we have here is that someone texted the word stop, and we need to unsubscribe them because um, they don't want to receive the messages anymore. Another, another um, 
One you might add is help, for example. That's another one I think is a best practice uh, from the Mobile Marketing Association. If someone texts the word help into your number, you don't really want to subscribe or unsubscribe them from anything, but you do want to reply with some instructions. You know, uh, this, <clears throat> you could say, this is um, a list for pizza shop or customer, whatever the customer name is. Pizza shop customers. Reply. Uh, pizza to subscribe, whatever your keyword is for subscribing. Or stop to cancel. So something like that. It gives them instructions on <clears throat> maybe a reminder what this list is or how to get off of it and that type of thing. So once you've done all this, you'll want to definitely save your changes. So those, saves that, those are saved. I can close out of here. And uh, you'll see that now we have our SMS flow. So we have the flow, right? So, um, but we, don't, we haven't attached a phone number to it. So that's a critical step. So we want to attach a phone number. So if we go into our numbers, and uh, you'll see that I've already selected um, the, uh, for this particular number, I had clicked on here and selected our pizza SMS flow. So if someone calls this number, they will get the flow. Um, so now if I go back to my flows, actually let's go back to numbers. Okay, so I attached a couple of numbers. I wanted to demonstrate um, you can attach more than one number to the same flow. Now I've seen some people that get confused with this um, because what they do is they've attached multiple numbers to the same flow and they want to change how one particular number works. Well, if you want to, if you have two numbers attached to the same flow and you only want this one to do something different, maybe separate text message list or whatever, you need to create a new flow and attach that number to that new flow. But uh, so I've attached two numbers here. Let's go into flows again. And uh, when you see, there's my pizza SMS, the flow that I created, and you can see that. Here are the two numbers that are attached to the flow. So that lets you know that um, which numbers are attached to it. So now if anyone calls or sends a text message to either of these two numbers, it will behave based on what I want these flows, how I've set these up. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I want to... Um, well, what I'll, uh, I need to show you how to send a message to your list. So, in the next video, I'll show the sub, kind of demo the subscription process and um, what that looks like, how this system looks when you want to send and receive text messages to your list.